Yo, what's going on? What's going on? What's good? What's good? How's everybody doing? It's uh, Tuesday, April 23rd. It's a good day. You know, we're two more days away from the draft. It's close. It's getting real close. Draft stream, Thursday, 8 p.m. About to go live on TikTok right now. Uh, yeah, just went live on TikTok. Nice. Okay. Yeah. What's going on, guys? You saw me at Walmart yesterday? Yeah. I definitely wasn't at Walmart, but hey, man, maybe you did see me there. Tico snuck some AB news in today. <laughs> I had to, bro. Dude, cracker of the day, cracker of the week. Cracker of the week always makes it into the, the daily news now. It's going to be a new thing, a new segment. What's going on, though, ladies and gentlemen? What's going on? We're going to do some NFL news today. I said I was going to do some rookie rankings, but uh, nah. We're going to do the mock draft tomorrow. Uh, and then, um, yeah, we're going to do a mock draft tomorrow. Draft on Thursday. Today's NFL news. And, yeah, that's what we're doing. If you're on TikTok, hello. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? What's up? What's up? What's up? We're going to, uh, dude, I just watched, I was watching freaking, I was eating lunch and I was walk, watching uh, Nick, uh, Nick Nayer, 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 I can't say his name, Nayer, 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 you know what I'm talking about, Nick on, on YouTube, Nick Nayer, I think something like that, close. And dude, he was at like AB's house. Man's wild, bro. AB's a wild man. AB's a wild, a wild brother, a wild man. But yeah. We're going to do some NFL news here shortly. We're going to start in the next two, three minutes. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. It's going to be, we're waiting for some people to get in here still. We're waiting. And uh, listen, if you're watching on TikTok, head over to Twitch at Tico Fantasy Show. Follow. Get your name on this board behind me. And uh, yeah, it's a place to be. Trust. That's where you want to be. We're doing some NFL news. If you go over there, you're going to actually be able to, uh, you know, see what the fuck we're talking about. So go over there. Tico Fantasy Show on Twitch. Head on over, follow, get your name on the board. That's where you want to be. That's the place. That is the place. Dude, CTESPN has been pretty good lately, not going to lie. They've CTESPN's been hitting on a few things lately. Kind of crazy. They've been they've been they've been getting out there. Hey man, you want to CTESPN want to hire me, bro? I would happily be the spokesperson for CTESPN. Happily. I'll hap I'd happily work for them. But if you're watching on TikTok, Go over to Twitch, at Tico Fantasy Show. Tico Fantasy Show, you know the name. Follow, get your name on this board behind me. It is filling up quickly. And uh, over there, you're going to actually be able to see what the hell we're talking about. You're going to be able to see the actual news, and I know that's what you want to see. You want to see the news. So go over there, Twitch, Tico Fantasy Show. Dude, got to get AB. I, dude, AB doesn't live too far from me. Like I could definitely run into AB somewhere in public. I just, I just got to find that. Dude, I have friends. I have friends who, I don't know, back when we were in, like, high school, friends who would uh, freaking run down, like, if he was practicing, like, a field somewhere in, like, Miami, they'd just run down there and go and, like, see him and shit. There's been so many AB sightings in Florida. <laughs> this, is his, this, is his, this is his territory. <laughs> but we're going to get into the news shortly. Real shortly. We're going to get into the news in two minutes. Two minutes. Oh, balloons. Look at that. We're going to get into the news in two minutes. And uh, in the meantime, if you're watching on TikTok, head over to Twitch at Tico Fantasy Show. Follow, get your name on the board behind me, and get a much better view. Trust me, that's where you want to be. Um, should I just get into the news now? We got, we got enough people. Um, yeah, screw it. Let's get into the news now. Let's do it. Let's do some news. Let me see if I got this John set up. You know, hit this. Yeah, we got this John set up. Okay, let's go. News time! Okay. Uh, wait a minute. I got to pull that up. Okay. Let's see. Dude, Darren Waller, bro. Darren Waller freaking, you know, Darren Waller got divorced, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Kelsey Plum's always in the news for some bad shit, you know, like not, she's always saying something to somebody or doing something that, you know, ain't a hundred percent agreed with everybody, but still, you know, Kelsey Plum. Oh, wait, wait a minute. It's frozen. Give me a second. Wait a sec. This is frozen. Wait one minute. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Wait, it was frozen. Let me, un let me fix this real quick. Give me one second, ladies and gentlemen. Let me fix this. This is frozen. I need to fix this. Properties, display, windows, capture, display. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. We're back. Okay. So, dude, Darren Waller 
Kelsey Plum, divorced. Hate to see it. Sad. I mean, I guess. I don't know. You know, some people. <laughs> it's not that deep. You know, people get divorced. It's how things go. They weren't married for very long, were they? They were freaking married for like, like a year? Not even. Barely a year. Barely a year, those two. But yeah, divorce. Sucks to see. Two days left before the NFL draft. Chicago Bears' DJ Moore was a first round. That's nobody cares. Not real news. What's JJ McCarthy doing? Oh my. Cold water. What a dive. What a dive, bro. Dude, cold if water. that whole NFL thing doesn't work I out, bro, it. go be a fisher, man, morning, or a or swimmer. I just call him a fisher. Frozen I just call him a fisher, bro. You, a like, fisher? That's crazy. Just, like, don't do it. And then you get in there, and it feels like your body's screaming, but you just keep going and sit right there. Yeah, good. okay, I don't care, J.J. McCarthy. J.J. McCarthy's over here talking about doing fucking cold plunges and shit. I don't care. The NFL has reinstated corner Isaiah Rogers. You can now participate in all team activities. So if you don't remember Isaiah Rogers, this is the guy who got suspended for gambling a year ago. And you might not remember him because they're showing him with all the Eagles shit because he's on the Eagles now. But then he was on the Colts. So, uh, yeah. Mr. Isaiah Rogers is back. Not He's not great. Not really anybody very noteworthy, but hey, he's back. He's on the Eagles. Shit, he might start for the Eagles. They don't got much DB help. He might start over there, not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, Isaiah Rogers is back. And listen, if you're watching on TikTok, go over to Tico Fantasy Show on Twitch, follow, get your name on this board behind me, and get a much better view. Go over there. That's what we do. Yes, this is my full-time job. Yes, I do this full-time. I love it. Great job. Love you all. Couldn't do it without y'all. Let's get some W's. W's for everybody who's listening. W's for everybody who's here right now. Y'all the best. Couldn't do this without y'all. Y'all the best. We love y'all. Broncos picked up the fifth-year option on Pro Bowl... The Broncos picked up the fifth-year option on Pro Bowl corner Patrick Sertain. Good. Good. They, they needed to do that. They needed to do that, you know? Pick up the... That's the only... Dude, is there anybody else on the Broncos who's good... Or, like, maybe not good. There's some, there's some players who are good, obviously. But is there anybody else on the Broncos who's, like, elite other than Patrick Sertain? I think he's the only noteworthy young player on that team. Literally. I think he's the only noteworthy player on that team right now. I mean, maybe you could say Cortland Sutton, Zach Wilson. <laughs> hey, man. Second overall pick, Zach Wilson. Hey, man. I mean, shit. He might be one of the top five players on the team at this point. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. But, uh, Listen. Somebody asked me before, so I'll address it. We are going live for the NFL Draft. We are going live on TikTok and Twitch, 8 p.m. Thursday. Be here. It's going to be fun. Be here. We're going to do it. Be here for it. If you don't got TV and you need it some way to watch it, I will be here, you know, doing the thing, saying the stuff, doing the John. That sounds a little weird, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Malik Neighbors could be the wideout the Giants have been looking for. Daniel Jones desperately needs a wide receiver one, and Neighbors will instantly fill that role. Now, the guy who said this doesn't matter. He's from Roto World. This is like, this guy talking about this doesn't matter. But I agree with him. I do agree with him. You know, freaking if, if the Giants did get Malik Neighbors, shit. Shit, man. Shit. That'd be good for them. And even if they don't get Malik Neighbors, I know they won't do it. I know they won't do it. If it's... If Malik Neighbors goes at five to the Chargers and, you know, the Giants are sitting there at six, I know they won't take Roma Dunze, but they should. They should take Roma Dunze because that team is in such desperate need of a wide receiver. Like, if they don't get some wide receiver help, it's going to be a problem. It is going to be a serious issue if they don't get some wide receiver help. They need a wide receiver. Need. Need. Not want. Not, not maybe. Not this. Not that. They need a wide receiver because I'll tell you right now, Darius Slayton, Wandale Robinson, fucking Jalen Hyatt, it ain't enough. It ain't enough. That ain't what you, you need to have more than that. That ain't enough. That is not a real wide receiver room. It's still, you know, it's been going on for years now. This is still one of the worst wide receiver rooms in the league and they just fail every single year at putting new, good, better guys in there. They don't do it every single season. They just over, they just they look at something else and they go and uh, take care of a, another position, but they never take care of wide receiver. Never. Giants, man. I used to be a fan of this team when I was a little boy. I used to be a fan of them back when it was like Eli Manning, Saquon, freaking OBJ. Those were the days, man. I liked being a Giants fan then. Even though they didn't get any playoff wins, even though they went to the wild card round and lost because of the damn boat, I used to love being a Giants fan back then because it was fun. Now, it sucks. Why would anybody want to be a Giants fan now? Sucks. It's never been the same. It hasn't been the same since freaking... Y'all remember the... Yo. 
I'm going on a little tangent here, but y'all remember those good old days when it was OBJ, Sterling Shepard, freaking um, Victor Cruz? Do you remember that? Like, those were the good old days. Those were the good old days of the Giants, and it hasn't been the good old days in so long. It has been so long since we've had the good old days like that, and I miss it. I miss it. I'd love to see the Giants be good again, and getting Malik Neighbors would be a great start to that. You know, they've been talking about, the Giants have been in a lot of rumors about possibly trading up. Even, that, even if that is maybe just one pick. Even if they're just trading up to five, maybe we see them trade up to five to get Malik Neighbors. I don't know, brother. I don't know. Ruben Foster highlights. Niggas know that we don't play with it. Big 38 go hook em. Listen, if you're on TikTok and you want to see what the fuck I was just watching, go over to Twitch at Tico Fantasy Show. It's the place to be. You go over there, you can see what you can see these rumors. Dude, Dude, Ruben Foster to pop smoke. I couldn't like think of anything more fitting. Couldn't think of anything more fitting than that. Cole Bishop. Okay. Ah, look. Enjoying the popcorn. Kelsey Plum. We're going to see a lot of that Darren Waller, Kelsey Plum shit. You want to continue to add playmakers around him. Colts GM Chris Ballard. Isn't it Ballard? His name's not Ballard. It's Ballard. It's Chris Ballard, I thought. Chris Ballard. Yeah, it's Ballard. You spelled that wrong, PFF. Yo, PFF, get some spell check going, my brother. It's not Ballard. It's fucking Ballard. Freaking dinguses. Dinguses, bro. Dinguses. But yeah. Freaking Anthony Richardson would, you know, benefit from some more playmakers around him, even though you have already put quite a few playmakers around him. I mean, freaking Michael Pittman, uh, Jonathan Taylor, um, who's been good? What's the short guy's name? Josh Downs has been good. I think they need to add, you know, there's been a lot of rumors in the past that they haven't been happening in the past couple days, but, you know, a lot of rumors about the Colts possibly trading up to get Brock Bowers. I like that. I like that. I think that is like the final puzzle piece to their offense that they need. I think that is the final puzzle piece in the offense they need. You know, Michael Pittman on one side, Josh Downs on the other or in the slot, and then Brock Bowers at the tight end, Jonathan Taylor in the backfield. I like that. I like that a lot. So, I don't know. I'd love to see them get a good tight end. That's like the one position where they could really, really, really benefit from. Anthony Richardson would benefit so much from having a great tight end. But they need to trade up. They need to trade up a lot. I think they're at pick. What pick do the Colts have? Like 16? 15, 16? Something back there? 17? Something back there. Something later. But they would definitely have to trade up if they wanted to get somebody like that. And uh, you got to trade up. <coughs> <coughs> oh, my God. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, if you're watching on TikTok, go over to Twitch at Tico Fantasy Show. Go over there. Follow. Get your name on the board. Much better view. Go over there. The 49ers are seeking a first-round pick in exchange for wide receiver Brandon Ayuk. This comes freaking one day after, you know, they say, you know, see, I said, did I not say this yesterday? If you were here yesterday, you'd remember this. I literally said this yesterday. I literally said this yesterday. I said, um, when John Lynch was talking, I said, this is just GM bullshit. Everything he's saying does not matter. Everything he's saying has no significance whatsoever. And look at what we see today. The 49ers are seeking a first-round pick in exchange for Brandon Ayuk. They do not care. They don't care about keeping Brandon Ayuk for his career. If somebody gives him a first-round pick, they'll trade him in a second. They don't have any freaking allegiance to Brandon Ayuk. No allegiance. They don't care. I'm telling you, bro. Theo, Theo Ash, Theo Ash said it on Twitter, my guy. He said it on Twitter. He said, I wouldn't be shocked if Brandon Ayuk got traded to the Steelers during the draft. And I wouldn't be shocked either. That's what I'm projecting right now. That's what I'm thinking. We see Brandon Ayuk get traded to the draft. Maybe during the draft. Maybe it's not, maybe it's not the Steelers, but you know, it could also be the freaking uh the Jags. It could be who else is there? Who else needs a wide receiver? Who else who else could no, those are really the only two. Those are really the only two we've ever heard in rumors, Steelers and freaking the Jags. Those are the only two we heard in rumors were Brandon Ayuk. But still, I think the Steelers would be a great landing spot. Would love to see that. Would love to see it. Love, 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 love. The, oh, the Bills would be cool, too. The Bills would be cool. 
I mean, we haven't heard anything about it, but the Bills would be pretty sick. Brandon Ayuk and Josh Allen would be pretty dope. That'd be that'd be pretty hype. I, I wouldn't mind seeing that. I would not mind seeing that whatsoever. That'd be pretty sick. Let's keep going, though. Jamar Chase remembers his draft day like it was yesterday. To the end zone. Touchdown! My draft day was fast. I woke up happy just because it was a draft day, ready to get the day over with. Everybody and my doesn't agent wake was up happy on draft day. And last word he'd tell me was, we, we up next. With the fifth pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select Jamar, Jamar Chase. Chase. Wide receiver, okay. LSU. Before he was the fourth I knew overall. 2021 NFL Draft. Be up next. With the fifth pick. Fifth. He was the fifth overall pick. So, yeah, nobody... I don't think... No, okay, Marvin will go a four. Yeah, that's the highest wide receiver we've seen go in a long time. Four. Four is very freaking... Very high. Very, very high. Why, is your, why are you asking me about the Titans so much? Sheesh. Over, under, seven and a half wins? Um... Ooh, I say over. But not much. Probably like eight. Eight, nine. I'll say over on seven and a half, though. I think we see the frickin'. Oh, but that's a gr that's a good division. Listen, that used to be one of the shittiest divisions, the AFC the AFC South. That used to be one of the shittiest divisions in the league, and now, bro, that's a that's a good division. You know, the Texans, you know, the the Colts, the Titans. What's the one team I'm forgetting in that division? What's the one team? The Jags. Oh yeah, the Jags. Shit, that's a good division. That's gonna be a competitive, very competitive division. Very competitive. Very competitive. Who finishes in last in that division? Titans or Titans or Colts? Titans or Colts? Maybe the Jags, honestly. I don't know. The Jags freaking, you know, they came out hot last year and then sold in the back half. I don't know. Hmm. It's interesting. Interesting. Good question. Two more days, baby. Look at it. It's all set up already. They already got that John set up. Look at it. God, I want to go to a draft. I've never been to a draft. I'd love to go to a draft. I'd love to go to a draft. Next time, listen, that, that John's anywhere in the South next year, um, I would ha I'm going to the draft. I'm flying out for the day, getting a hotel room. I'm just going to the draft next year. I need to. I need to. There's just no way, no way I can't not go to one draft in my life. I need to go to a draft. It's like on my bucket list of things to do in my life. I need to go there. But here we go. Big news. The Las Vegas Raiders have called the Washington Commanders about the second overall pick, wanting to select Jaden Daniels. The backup plan for the Raiders could be Spencer Rattler and Michael Penix Jr. Well, that those backup plans wouldn't wouldn't be backup plans they would do at like 12. What pick are they at? 13? I think they're at 13. I think the um I think the uh Raiders are at 13, pretty sure. Pretty sure. But, you know, Spencer Rattler and Michael Penix at 13 is a little crazy. Maybe Michael Penix at 13, you know, you could you could justify that a little bit, but Spencer Rattler at 13 is kind of wild. I think you could still, I think you could wait till the second round and one of those two will still be on the board in the second. Just my opinion. But I don't think they're going to be able to trade up. You know, Adam Peters has said multiple times now, he has said so many times, he keeps saying, hey guys, the Commanders, we ain't trading this pick. We are not trading the second overall pick. You can call all you want. You can make all the offers you want. We are not trading the second overall pick. And power to them because they shouldn't trade the second overall pick no matter what anybody offers them. You're in a position where you're going to get Jaden Daniels or Drake May, two quarterbacks who can easily be your quarterback of the future. There's no reason for the commanders to trade that pick. Same thing goes with the Patriots. The Patriots have been freaking talking to more teams about trading their pick. And, you know, nobody's really made any good offers yet, but still... They shouldn't be talking to anybody about trying to trade that pick. They shouldn't. They should be freaking, they should be sitting there freaking, you know, getting ready to decide whether they're taking Jaden Daniels or Drake May. Whoever's left over. That's what they need to be doing. That's what they need to be doing. Okay, let me read the chat for a second. Let's see. Who the Panthers? Blah, 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 blah. Listen! Watching on TikTok... If you're watching on TikTok, go over to Twitch at Tico Fantasy Show. Follow, get your name on this board behind me. Much better view over there. And we are nine followers. We are nine followers away from 1,600 followers. So hey, man, follow, get your name on the board, and maybe you could be the 1,600th follower. I'd love to see the 1,600 follower. We'll get a shout out. Say yo, what's good, brother? What's good, my friend? Uh, NBA clarifies the challenge rule off out of bounds violation in response to what happened at the end of the Thunder Pelicans game on Sunday night. I thought that was the Sixers game. Am I, am I mistaken? Hmm. I don't remember. 
I don't remember. So much happens. So much happens. That late, dude, Lakers choked. Lakers choked, bro. Lakers were A1 chokers last night, brother. Lakers were A1 choking. A1. Yo, I'm, okay. So, I will say, I will say, okay, let's talk about, let's talk about uh, the, let's talk about the NBA for one second here. I will say that the officiating for freaking Sixers Knicks, terrible, bad, 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 bad. But Lakers Pelicans, you know, the stuff they were complaining about, like, mm, like D'Angelo Russell was complaining about that one foul, and I don't know, like, I, I, I mm, you know, I would have a lot more, I'd be a lot more okay with you complaining if you won that game. But the fact that you gave up a 20-point lead, like, you didn't, you didn't give up a 20-point lead because of that one foul. You gave up a 20-point lead because, you know, y'all sucked in that fourth quarter. Like, sucked. Ma max suckage in that fourth quarter. No diddy. But, yeah, the, the Lakers just choked. A1 choking. They, LeBron will got to get both of those wins in L.A. in the next, when is that game, Friday? Game's prob that game's probably Friday, I would assume. Who plays tonight? We got... First game tonight is, let me look real quick. What's the first game tonight? First game tonight, oh my God. Uh, Suns Wolves at 7.30. Pacers Bucks at 8.30, Mavs Clippers at 10. Not gonna lie, uh, I don't really watch much, uh, I don't watch much basketball during the regular season, but I love the playoffs. I'd be watching every game for the playoffs. How did a fake ref start an all out brawl? The way Mike I don't remember this. Winning, oh, this is old. He's a fiery competitor. When you lose, it's a oh, that's hilarious. Somebody, somebody in this college game ran onto the field as a fake referee and stopped the game. That's hilarious. That's fucking. That's hilarious. That's funny as shit. That's funny as hell. Uh, in addition to providing an amazing platform, okay, we need, dude. What? What? Tell me right now. Tell me right now. Please, somebody give me the answer to this. What is the Chiefs GM talking about? What is Brett Veach talking about with high praise for Kadarius Tony? Listen to this. The Chiefs GM said, Kadarius Tony is probably our most talented wideout right now. What is this guy on? What is this guy on? Why are you saying that? Why? Yo, stop spamming that, brother. Stop that. Stop that. Nobody likes that. Stop that. Stop that spamage. You stop that. You, I, I, you. You. I see you. Stop that spamage. You stop. Stop. Sorry. Let me, I gotta do some disciplining right now. You stop. Don't do that. Okay, he stopped. Yeah, that's what I thought. You stop. But okay. I don't know what the, I don't know what, I don't know what the GM's talking about here. I don't know, I don't know what the hell's going on. Like, probably our most talented wide receiver. You know you got Rasheed Rice. You know you got freaking Kadarius Tony. You know you got freaking uh, I guess MVS isn't on the team anymore. Shit, Sky Moore's a better wide receiver than Kadarius Tony at this point in his career. Most talented. Yeah, dude, he's freaking, well, well, he's talented. Dude, the Chiefs lose more games when Kadarius Tony is on the field than when he's off the field. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Would make the most sense. Let's see what this says. Well, let's start uh, with this thing Ian Rappaport. Here. New, does seem new to be receiver. Ian Rappaport just got a fat contract from NFL Network. I think for them, with all due respect to those mock drafts, which have them going edge. And, you know, from my understanding, it doesn't seem like there's a huge separation between Malik Neighbors and Marvin Harrison Jr. But if they're picking, they got to pick one. And, you know, I would go with Buda Baker, who is a great evaluator. I think Bugatti Marv, which is not actually his nickname, but certainly would make some sense. I think that would, you know, be a potential Bugatti face Marv? of the franchise there alongside Kyler Murray. But if they're going to trade, it, it, I just don't imagine it would be that far. Like, if they're so close on evaluations, if they say Marvin Harrison Jr. and Malik Neighbors are really close, we're good with either, then they can't go maybe past the Giants at six. Right, because they you got to end up with one of those guys if that's the direction you go. Well, let's start. I don't know what that was pointless. I don't even know why I listened to that. That was that was. <laughs> give me a second to catch my breath. Like that was that was pointless. <laughs> the the if the Cardinals don't take Marvin Harrison Jr. at four, I don't know what's wrong with this world, but something definitely is. If they don't take him at four, something's like the draft is rigged. <laughs> They're taking Marvin Harrison Jr. at four. I think that's like a lock. I think that's the only lock. Like, outside of the first overall pick, the only other lock is the Cardinals taking Marvin Harrison Jr. at four. Marvin's going to Arizona. 
Washington Commanders' Adam Peters, Adam Peters says, despite trade offers that the team will stand firm and pick second overall. Yeah, this is what I said, man. They ain't moving. They ain't moving. And good, they shouldn't. Here are the, over, uh, here are the odds for that pick. You know, we got Jaden Daniels at minus 400, Drake May at plus 330, and J.J. McCarthy at plus 1100. Hey, if you're watching on TikTok, go over to Tico Fantasy Show on Twitch. Follow, get your name on this board behind me. We need four more followers. Four more followers to get to 1,600 followers. So, uh, yeah, go on over there. I told you to stop. <laughs> Sorry. I, to I told him to stop. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> uh where was i okay so yeah these are the yeah jj mccarthy ain't going it to freaking drake may it's drake may or Jaden daniels and dude i think these odds are gonna shift like day of the draft comes day of the draft comes these odds are gonna shift significantly it's gonna be like minus 100 minus 100 drake may minus 100 Jaden daniels that's what's gonna happen 10 minutes before the draft that's what they did to us last time with cj stroud they screwed us over last year with C.J. Stroud, man. The freaking Las Vegas had that shit rigged. Las Vegas had that shit rigged last year. The NFL reinstated Isaiah Rodgers. The NFL reinstated Isaiah Rodgers. The Commanders just didn't put it to. Marvin Harrison Jr. signed a multi-year endorsement deal with New Balance. Why would you sign a multi-year endorsement deal with New Balance? You know, like, you got so many, like, different brands you can sign with. I mean, New Balance is cool, but... There's like a lot cooler brands out there that you could sign with than New Balance. And it's Marvin Harrison Jr. I know he has his like fr freaking pick of the litter with, uh, you know, with, with, with like sponsorships. I don't know why you go with uh, New Balance out of all the options. But hey, do what you got to do. What do I have written? Dude, so if you go, hey man, you just gave me a perfect, perfect segue here. Listen, if you follow on Twitch at Tico Fantasy Show... You get your name on this board. That's what's written on this board. I know it looks like freaking, looks like some other language over there that I got written on there because it's like flipped on TikTok. But still, that is uh, everybody's name on the board who followed on Twitch. So if you follow, get your name on the board. Who do you think he is, Kawhi? That's hilarious. Uh, let's keep going, though. Let's keep going. No indication. Dude, not that much news today. Not that much news. Oh, my God. Y'all remember this video? This is freaking Anthony this Richardson. Is, this is Anthony Richardson's freaking. Uh, I mean, especially his fucking little is, brother. This is very special to me. I mean, especially because I look up to him as much. And Dude, his voice so deep. Like his voice so, so deep. You're sort of wearing similar <laughs> outfits, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just noticed that. Yeah, yeah. I love it. It's like your mini you. Oh, yeah, yeah, my mini me. Congratulations. Enjoy every minute. This one's checking himself out in the monitor over here. You look I'm good. I'm over here just trying to face myself. Do you look good? <laughs> I think I look good. <laughs> Dude, dude's voice so deep. I don't know why. Little little man, little man, little man with a deep voice. Let us keep going. Uh, oh, look, here's some good news though. This is the same shit. It's the same shit. I've read the same thing three times, but screw it. Let's read it again. Oh, but it's a little different this time because the Raiders are involved with this one. While the Commanders and the Patriots have received calls from teams attempting to move up for a QB, Washington has shown no indication it would move. Okay, we know that. New England would move for the right offer, but the Pats just haven't gotten such an offer yet. And then it says, Not surprisingly, but the Raiders are among the teams who tested the Commanders on moving out of two, even after Washington GM Adam Peters told the media that the team planned to stick and pick. So yeah, the Raiders, like this is from an actual source, actual NFL Network, Mike Garofalo source, real source. The Raiders have been in contact with the Commanders for the second overall pick, but uh, they've told them. They told them too many times now. They've said, hey, we ain't trading it. We ain't doing it. So the commanders are trying to move up, but, you know, nobody wants to trade with them. And if they do want to trade with them, the Ra Ra Raiders got to give up their firstborn child if they want. Like, the, it's impossible for the Raiders to move up in this draft to get Jaden Daniels. Not possible. But, hey, we hit 1,600 followers. Thank you. Uh, who is 1,600? Hey, somebody sub. W Zabs. W Zabs. Oh, yo, Zabs. Zab's, Zab's awesome. You know, you were the 1600, fo 16, 1600 follower and you sub. So W, big W's for you. Big W's. You up. You up. We down. We all around, baby. 
All around. Let's keep going, though. Oh, my goodness. Look at these helmets. They're so sexy. I love these helmets. Damn, I, I say this every time. I wish I was a Texans fan. I wish I was a Texans fan. Look at that. Oh, my God. The H-Town jerseys? I love the H-Town jerseys. I love those H-Town jerseys. They're so clean, bro. They're so clean. The H-Town jerseys? Let me see if I can pop them. Let's see. Oh, my God. Look at them, bro. People were saying people were saying they look like a UFL jersey, but I don't think they do just because I don't think the UFL can make a jersey this clean. You know, you got them cute. It kind of looks like the Houston Roughnecks a little bit. I see how you could like mistake it for the Houston Roughnecks. But you know, the Houston Roughnecks got like some more shit on their jerseys that doesn't look as good. These are just nice, simple, sleek, you know, good color, good color schemes. I love these jerseys. W jerseys. They really the Texans went off. Texans definitely went off with these jerseys for sure. I like the red numbers. I like the red numbers. I like the red numbers a lot. I'm actually a fan of the red numbers. I love, I love the new red jerseys. The new red jerseys, oh my goodness. Dude, look at Tank. Look at Tank, bruh. Tank look crazy. What kind of gloves are those? What kind of gloves are those? Z those aren't Zenith. Those aren't cutters. What are those? I don't know what those are. Um, but yeah, the Houston Texans jerseys are so clean. They're just so clean. I love them. I love them. Uh, out of the, f which one is your favorite? Let me ask you all this. Which one is your favorite out of the new Texans jerseys? What's your, what's your favorite? Which one do you like the most? Do you like the, the classic blue? Cause the classic blue is nice. It's nice. It's sleek. Do you like the white, the white with the blue pants, the all red or the H town? Which ones? Which ones? Battle Red, Battle Red, Battle Red, everyone's saying the red. H-Town, the alternates, I'm guessing that you mean H-Town, the red with the horns. The red with the horns is clean. Red helmet, white jersey, red pants. Well, that's not like an option. They're not going to, I don't think they'll ever, do they do that? I don't think they'll ever do that. I don't think that's a, I don't think that's an option. I don't think they can mix and match, <laughs> but mostly everyone's saying the red. Everyone's saying the red. Everyone's saying, yeah, dude, the red's clean. The all red, dude. The horns on the helmet is sick, is sick. They could have done that. They could have done the horned helmet as their new freaking like, that could have been their new helmet. That could have been their new helmet. They could have just gotten rid of the old Houston Texans logo, just said, screw that, make it the two horns. Like that would have been sick if they did that. I would have loved to have seen that. That would have been dope, but they didn't do that. We're only getting it for the red helmets, but still these jerseys are awesome. They did a great job with these. Great job. I love the H-Town. Oh, my God. The H-Town. Y'all really like the red ones more than the H-Town jerseys? I love the H-Town jerseys. I don't know. Definitely the, the, the best. Okay, let me ask y'all another question. Let me ask y'all another question. Where do you think the Texans rank now like best jerseys in the league? Like what, what, what teams do you think are above the Texans with best jerseys in the league now? I can only think of like maybe two, two teams that are above them, maybe three. Let's see. I love, I love, you know, they're, they're old. They haven't changed them forever and they don't need to. I love the Vikings jerseys. The Vikings have my favorite jerseys in the league. I love those purple jerseys. Love them. I freaking have a Justin Jefferson jersey. I'm not even a Vikings fan, but I love the purple so much that I had to get one. I just ordered, yo, I ordered three jerseys last night. I ordered three jerseys last night. I'm going to get them soon. I'll wear them on stream. I ordered some new Dolphins jerseys. They're sick. Um, Titan. Okay. The Titans. I don't like the Titans regular jerseys, but they're, um, you know, like the light blue ones they were wearing that are technically supposed to be Houston's jerseys. They're Houston Oilers jerseys, technically. I love those. Those are clean. Those are clean. I like those a lot. But uh, Eagles, Bucks, Titans better. What are you? What? What? Nah. Nah. Texans are better than all, all three of those. Texans are better than all three. Okay, so yeah, I was going to say, the only two jerseys that I like personally have ahead of the Texans right now is probably the, uh, I love the Dolphins vintage jerseys. You know, the I have one, love the Dolphins vintage jerseys. Uh, and the Vikings, those are the two that I really love. Those are the two that I really love. I don't think there's really anybody else who has a great jersey that I like more than that. The Jags throwbacks are going to be dope. I, under, I don't understand why the Jags throwbacks haven't come out yet. I don't know what the hell's going on with those. 
I thought they were supposed to come out last Friday, and I never, never ended up seeing them, so don't know what's going on with that. But, yeah, clean jerseys, clean. They're some of the cleanest jerseys in the league now, for sure. How many will Tom get right? Who could be the surprise names that could fall into the bottom of the first round? Uh, one name to watch. Oh, one name to watch falling in the late first round is Florida State wide receiver Keon Coleman, who is quietly among the busiest players during the pre-draft process with a dozen visits plus a couple private team workouts. Hey, man, I'd love to see Keon Coleman be a first-round pick, bro. I love Keon Coleman. That's a, that's a Florida State alumni. We love our Florida State boys over here. FSU, Seminoles, you know. Osceola, we ride out for the Seminoles. That's, that's my team. That's my college team. We love Keon Coleman. Keon Coleman, Trey Benson, Renardo Green. I love Renardo Green. Renardo Green, watch out, bro. Renardo going to be a surprise first-round pick. Dude's dirty. Jared Verse, forgot about Jared Verse. Jared Verse is gross. The Florida State got some good guys this year. Florida State got some good guys in the draft this year. You know, we got freaking Jordan Travis a little later in the draft, maybe. You know, still coming off that bad injury, but he's back. He's throwing now, so that's good to see. So we'll probably see him go late in the draft. A lot of good guys from Florida State this year. Let's keep going, though. Let's keep going here. What's Roma Dunze going to say? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> we are going down. All souls have perished. That's funny. Okay, I didn't, I didn't understand the reference earlier, but now, okay, this makes sense. So... Uh, Caleb Williams and Roma Dunze were both on, like, a flight together today, and, uh, you know, Caleb Williams, uh, tweeted, he's like, oh, shit, Roma Dunze's on my flight, dude's a hell of a player, blah, 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 and then Roma Dunze tweeted him back, and he said, uh, I'm actually the pilot this morning, don't worry, I'm gonna get Caleb to Detroit safely, hashtag no souls have perished, and I was like, that's an odd thing to put at the end, no souls have perished, like, what, what, what the fuck's he talking about, what, what do you mean by that? What are, you, what are you talking about, bro? And this is what he's talking about. It was a reference back to the Combine that I just didn't understand because somebody at the Combine, one of the reporters asked him, do you think you could land a plane in case of an emergency? And uh, he said... Absolutely not. That's what he said. We are going down. All souls have perished. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. What do you think the odds are of Roma Dunze and freaking Caleb being teammates? I got, it's pretty, it's more likely, I, I don't know, ain't, cra ain't, ain't that crazy, ain't that crazy, ain't that crazy at all, what do I think about Sketch, dude, I love Sketch, Sketch the boy, we love Sketch, dude gets to wear some, dude's gotta buy some new jerseys now, Sketch gotta get some new jerseys, you gotta buy all the, you know, you got a bunch of new jerseys to buy, uh, from the NFL's league review, oh, from the NFL, the league's review into the Falcons and Eagles potential, oh, from, ah, I can't talk. The league's review into the Falcons and Eagles' potential tampering is ongoing and will not conclude this week. If there are draft picks involved, sounds like it'll be next year's. So, yeah, they're reviewing the Falcons and the Eagles for Kirk Cousins and Saquon, and um, they're probably not going to find anything with Saquon because it doesn't sound like there was anything going on there, but they're definitely going to take away some picks from the Falcons because I don't know why uh, Kirk Cousins thought it would be a good idea to go hang out with like Kyle Pitts and some other people talking to them before freaking free agency started. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea, but he did, and he did that, and it's all on video. They got uh, evidence of it. So, yeah, the Falcons are definitely going to lose some picks in next year's draft. I don't know about the Eagles. I doubt it. I doubt that the Eagles lose any picks. But, you know, the uh, Falcons will definitely lose some picks for sure. Falcons will be losing picks. Hey, we love the Tico Fantasy Show. We love the Tico Fantasy Show. I can't do the voice. You clearly know it's not me doing it. Uh, the league review. Oh, just kidding. The Detroit Lions brought in South Carolina, Carolina wide receiver Xavier Leggett for a visit. Okay. I mean, shit, do they need him? Do you think, do you really think the freaking, do you think the Lions need another wide receiver? You know, you got a Monra, you got J-Mo. I think you still got Josh Reynolds. No, maybe you don't have Josh Reynolds. I think Josh Reynolds signed somewhere. Maybe they do need a third wide receiver. Yeah, Xavier Leggett would be a good third wide receiver for them. But I don't know where they plan on taking him. You're not going to get him in the frickin'... Uh, they're not going to waste a first-round pick on Xavier Leggett. And they're not going to take him in the frickin' end of the second. I think he'll be gone by then. So I, I doubt Xavier Leggett ends up on the Lions. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. But they definitely need a third wide receiver for sure. Something they could address in the second or third round or later in the draft. A lot of good guys for them to get later on. 
Let's keep going. Offers for New England's pick have been laughable. Let's read this. The Boston Herald reports offers for the Patriots third overall pick in the 2024 NFL draft have been laughable. The Patriots, per a source that spoke with the Herald about the team's draft plans, are still waiting on a serious offer before they consider trading away their first round pick. New England should have a shot at one of Drake May, Jaden Daniels, or J.J. McCarthy if the team stays put at number three. Jacoby Brissett, who signed with the Pats last month, would serve as something of a bridge QB option if the team invests in a blue chip quarterback prospect. So yeah. They're not, they're, they're willing to trade that pick. Like somebody could come up and get the third overall pick from the Patriots, but nobody's making them any offers that are worth them like trading. And you know, if they're not making them a crazy offer, like three first round picks and a player, there's no reason to trade that pick. No reason. Take your quarterback, run on home, do your thing. That's it. No reason to trade that pick. Zero. Zero. Don't do it. But if you're watching on TikTok, what you should do is go over to Twitch at Tico Fantasy Show, follow, and get your name on this board behind me. Yeah, do that. Do that. We got a bunch of people who are following. So yeah, thank you if you did follow. And you got a much better view over there because you can actually see what the fuck I'm reading. And why would you not want to see what I'm reading? They don't get it. TikTok people don't get it, bro. You only get it if you're on Twitch. Only get it if you're on Twitch. Oh, man, my throat dry as hell. <laughs> my throat dry as hell. Most yards per catch by an active NFL tight end. 49ers George. Okay, this is stupid. I don't, I don't think anybody cares about this. Jared Goff has all the tools. He's ac Oh, this is what Amon Ross said about Jared Goff. He's accurate. He commands the offense. All the stuff you want in a quarterback. Amon Ross basically just told the Lions, Hey, man, pay Jared Goff. He's worth paying. Isn't that a crazy situation? Isn't that such a crazy situation, you know, like, Jared Goff got drafted by the Rams, you know, did his whole thing over there, freaking, you know, started at the top, made it to a Super Bowl, lost, and it just got worse, and got worse, and got worse, and got worse, until finally, you know, it got so bad that they traded him to the freaking Lions, him and two first-round picks for Matthew Stafford, and, you know, look at it now. Look at it now. Look at these people now. I mean, shit. I would say... People might, people might not agree with this. Some people might not agree with this. But I would say Jared Goff is better than Matthew Stafford at this point in, in their careers. I would say that I'd rather have Jared Goff than Matthew Stafford at this point. I don't think that's a crazy take whatsoever. I don't, I don't think so. I, I think I'd rather have Jared Goff than Matthew Stafford. And two first-round picks? Come on. Come on. Please. Please. Por favor. I love that. I love that. Love that. But yeah, Amon Ross signing off on Jared Goff. Get that man an extension. Look at these. Look at these red jerseys, bro. They're just so clean. The red. Okay. You know what? The red is my favorite. I take it back. The red is the cleanest. Yep. The red is cleaner than the H-Town. I like the H-Town a lot, but the red is cleaner. The red is, the red is nice. Especially because you got the horn. Yeah, the red is dope. The red's cooler than the H-Town. Damn. My mind has been changed. Look at that. Look at Nico, bruh. Look at Nico. That shit's dope. That shit's dope. Yeah, I mean, shit. Hey, man. Listen. I see... So, I've had a couple people say something about fantasy football. Listen. If you want... If you want to still play fantasy football right now, you know, Dynasty exists. I don't... I, it's not as much fun as regular fantasy football, obviously, because... I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. You get to keep your team forever. It's not terrible. But hey, if you want to do fantasy football in the offseason, like my dynasty league, just a trade just happened today. I didn't see what it was, but a trade just happened today. So go do a dynasty league. Go get some of your friends together. Put together a dynasty league. You know, draft a young team. Draft a young team. Keep them forever. Do a rookie draft every year. It's fun. Do it. Go do it. Trust. I sign, up on, sign off on it. Dynasty. Go on Sleeper. Go do a Dynasty League on Sleeper if you need some fantasy football in your life. Go on Sleeper and do a Dynasty League. Get your friends together. Teams trying to move up to the Commanders for number two have been told that they... Okay, dude, I've read the same thing 14 times. It's like the only big news that happened today. Oh, but this is big news, so this is from an actual source. The Giants are at least looking to trade up. The belief is that it's for UNC QB Drake May. You know, if Drake May doesn't go at two... I think there's a possibility we see him 
fall. You know, I think there's a possibility. I think there is a world where we see, you know, if it goes Caleb Williams at one, Jaden Daniels at two, I think we could possibly see at three, J.J. McCarthy. J.J. McCarthy at three. And then you got Drake May falling. I think there's a high possibility we could see that. Now, am I going to project that? No. Would I put that in my dinette? Would I put that in my freaking mock draft? No. But, you know, there's a possibility, I think, of that happening. I think there's a possibility of the Patriots taking J.J. McCarthy over freaking Drake May. Just because it's the Patriots. And everybody talks so highly of Drake May or J.J. McCarthy. And it's not like... Like, people want to compare J.J. McCarthy to Will Levis. And it's a little bit different. You see... Like Will Levis, Will Levis was a bit as a not nearly as good of a prospect on paper as JJ McCarthy is. Like Will Levis freaking was at uh Penn State, I think it was. I think he was at Penn State for two, three years, and then he transferred to Kentucky. Like Will Levis and JJ McCarthy on paper are not the same level of prospect. You know, JJ McCarthy, you know, three years and out. Dude was uh, one of the best quarterback prospects coming out of high school. You know, he's in a, like, I don't think he is personally. I don't think he is personally. I don't think he's, like, that talented. But on paper, people think this guy is, like, a good quarterback. So, I don't know. There's a chance you see J.J. McCarthy go top three. There is. I know you, nobody wants to think there is, but there is. There is. Name a late round draft pick that could have a fantasy impact in their rookie season. Um, a late round pick that could have a fantasy impact in their rookie season. So, you know, we love Trey Benson. He's going to go in the second or third. We love Jonathan Brooks. He's going to go in the second or the third. We love, uh, you want to talk about some later wide receivers. We love freaking, we love the Washington guys, Jalen Polk, McMillan. Love those guys. They're going to go later. Um, Corley, Corley's a good answer. Javon, you know, I'm not crazy about Javon Baker, but you know, he's aight. I don't mind Javon Baker. I don't mind him. Uh, who else is there? Who else is there? Who else is there? Let me look at, uh, let me look at something real quick. Let me look at the combine prospects. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This will give us plenty of names to look at. Uh, look at this. Uh, wide receiver. Let me see some guys that will go. Ricky, dude, Ricky Pearsall from Florida. Ricky, Ricky's out here training with freaking dude. That's if the Dolphins don't tra tra uh, if the Dolphins don't draft Xavier Worthy in the first round in the second or third. I would love to see them take Ricky. I would love them to see. I would love to see them take Ricky. I think Ricky would make such a great. He was working out with Tyreek and Jalen Waddle, so I just love to see that happen. I think that'd be such a cool trio. Roman Wilson's going to probably be a first, second round pick, so I'm not going to say that's really like somebody who's, you know, late. I'm not going to say anything about him. Uh, who else is back here that I like? I love Keon Coleman. Oh, let me talk about somebody who's going to be at the very bottom of this list. Johnny Wilson. Johnny Wilson. Remember the name Johnny Wilson from Florida State. Dude is like six foot. How tall is this guy? Six, six, I think it was. Six, five. No, he's six, six. Johnny Wilson. Remember Johnny Wilson. Johnny Wilson be giving me, like, Kelvin Benjamin vibes. I love Johnny Wilson. Dude's gross. Who else is down here that I like? Uh, nobody else down there that I like. Um, Johnny Wilson's... I, I'm a big Johnny Wilson fan. Brendan Rice? You know, Tez Walker? Tez Walker from UNC? Uh, Freaking Drake Mays, wide receiver one? Uh, a lot of people talked very highly of him, but... You know, he wasn't very good during the Senior Bowl. He wasn't very good during the Combine. And, you know, I'm not crazy about Tez Walker. There's a lot of people who, like, swear by Tez Walker, but I'm not one of those people. Somebody said a name that I love. Wait a minute. Somebody said a name in the chat that I love, and I can't. Let me find it real quick. I got to find him. I got to find him. Somebody said a name that I love. Do you see the Waller breakup? Yeah, I'll catch you, Ricky. Brendan Rice, probably Rice. Bub. Bub means... Bub Means, dude, Bub Means from Pitt, this guy had a great combine, great combine, and I want to say he participated in the Senior Bowl, I, I really liked, I really liked Bub Means, I thought he, I thought he was like one of the more underrated guys that I really liked at the combine, that's a name, that's probably, that is probably the latest guy 
who will probably be a great steal. Bub Means, that's a great answer. Whoever put that in the chat, W, huge W for you. Bub Means, I totally forgot that name. Oh, <laughs> I was going to do rookie rankings today, but uh, decided not to. Decided not to. We're going to do the mock draft tomorrow. But yeah, let's keep on scrolling here. Let's keep on scrolling. We got another ad. What is this? Roger Goodell. M the real Slim Shady and Roger Goodell. I'm Eminem, and this is Roger Goodell. And Roger Goodell here is in Detroit looking for a little street cred. Can you help me get some? Absolutely not. <laughs> Dude, I gotta see Eminem. I gotta see Eminem uh, freaking announce some picks. I gotta see. I gotta see the real Slim Shady. I gotta see Marshall Mathers freaking uh, announce some picks. Not one pick, but picks. I gotta see him announce multiple picks. They're going. They're going to his city, bruh. This city, Detroit. Come on, I gotta see it. I gotta see it. I gotta see. I gotta see the real Slim Shady announce some picks. I'll be hyped. Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? The Bengals signed Jake Browning to a two-year extension. I like that. I like that. You know, when, when freaking Joe Burrow went down, Jake Browning stepped up. Jake Browning stepped up, and you got to reward that. You got, oh, look at this. Y'all remember this? Listen, if you're watching on TikTok, go over to Twitch, at Tico Fantasy Show, follow, get your name on the board, get a better view, and you can watch this video of CD Lamb. This is my favorite. This is this and the Russell Wilson thing are probably my two favorite moments from the draft. Wait, where did where, look at look at him snag this thing? Look at him! Look at him! Bam! Easy, bruh. Easy, easy, easy. You ain't you ain't looking at my phone. Shotty ain't looking at my phone. Shotty ain't looking at my phone. Uh 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 uh. I got you know. You got two phones. Two phones, one for the bitches and one for the... <laughs> Dolphins GM Chris Greer says he has less than 21 first round grades on NFL prospects this year. They have the 21st pick. So if you have less than freaking 21 guys you think should be first round picks, you ought to go to freaking, you ought to trade up. The Dolphins are going to have to trade up if there's nobody there, 21 they like. But I would be willing to bet there's going to be some guys who go way too early. So there probably will be some. I, I doubt that the Dolphins trade up. I know there's rumors about the Dolphins trading up, but I doubt that they do. I don't. I, that doesn't seem like something the Dolphins would do. You know, being a Dolphins fan, I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. I don't feel like trading up is something they would do. But, you know, they always like to take that guy who falls. We like to take the problematic players who fall. So maybe somebody problematic. Maybe somebody, you know, gets a little Laramie Tunsil action. You know, a little, a little Laramie Tunsil, uh, you know what I'm talking about, actually, I'm not even going to Google it, you know what I'm talking about, a little Laramie Tunsil draft day action going on, Dolphins will happily take that player at 21, you know, whoever it is, don't care, top 10 pick, you got a little, you got a little gas mask on, is good, come on down to Miami, baby, we love players like that, we love that. Six QBs taken in the first round? That's a lot. That's a lot. You, you want to know how many QBs I think will be taken? The first three picks will be QBs. J.J. McCarthy will go somewhere 10 picks, somewhere 10 picks from there between freaking 4 and 16. J.J. McCarthy will go somewhere in there. And then I think somebody will trade back up into the back of the first round and take freaking Michael Penix just to get the fifth-year option. So I say five QBs get drafted in the first round. Five QBs. I don't think we see any more than that go in the first round. I don't think Michael Penix is... Like, Michael Penix is good. I like him personally. But I don't think he's somebody who's going to go, you know, as a top 15 pick. I don't think he will. Just because of the injury concern from the past. But somebody definitely trading up into the back of the first round and taking him, I could see that happening. You know, if Lamar Jackson... If Lamar Jackson wasn't a top 15 pick, Michael Penix ain't a top 15 pick. Lamar Jackson falling all the way down to the last pick in the first round is like still one of the craziest stories of all time. What is like, what what was everybody thinking when that happened? Like why why was everybody thinking? What were y'all thinking? Yo, somebody just brought up Shadur, bro. Listen, Shadur like I think he might be a little overrated. Not gonna lie, like he's good, 
he's good, don't get me wrong, but man, he is a little overrated, a little overrated, you know. He's He's got a little bit of nepoism going on there, if you know what I mean. A little nepoism. Just because of his daddy. Just because of his daddy. Did you try... No, I don't know. I don't I don't know where to find a Culver's, my guy. I don't know where there's no Culver's. Shit, man. I don't know. It's draft season, baby. We working. Elijah Jones has been busy. Can Brees Hall get his first PPR RB1 finish this season? No. <laughs> Maybe top five, but not number one. I doubt it. I'm not get, I'm not saying he's finishing number one. I doubt he will finish number one. Uh Tony is our best wide receiver. The New York, I didn't know what this was. Let me read this. I saw this earlier and I didn't read this. Let me read it now. ESPN's Rich Sim Simony believes the Jets could have an organizational reset if the 2024 season doesn't go well. With the team's Zach Wilson experiment ending this week with the former first rounders trade to Denver, Simony suggests the Jets could take a QB of the future in the 2024 NFL draft. Tulane's Michael Pratt and Florida State's Jordan Travis took pre-draft visits to the Jets, and general manager Joe Douglas sounds like he wants to take a quarterback in the draft. According to Simony, Aaron Rodgers, 40, who missed the entire 2020 season with 2023 season with an Achilles injury, has said that he wants to play up to four more seasons, but he's only signed with the Jets through 2024. Oh, I forgot about that. I didn't know that. Aaron Rodgers has one deal left on his contract. That's it. What's the Twitch? At Tico Fantasy Show. Tico Fantasy Show. Follow, get your name on this board behind me, and get a better view. Go over there. Tico Fantasy Show. Yeah. But that's definitely... I, I would... Dude. Dude. I would love... Tell me you wouldn't love to see... Okay. Aaron Rodgers, you know, he, signed, he stays with the Jets this year, obviously, because he's under contract. And then the Jets draft... The Jets draft... Jordan Travis. And you know, Jordan Travis isn't going to be ready to play for a bit of a while. It's going to be a while until Jordan Travis can really, really get back on a football field and play. Which is fine. Which is good. Because he can sit behind Aaron Rodgers and learn. I think Jordan Travis would be a great guy for them to like, you know, take in the 4th, 5th, 6th. He'll probably go super late because of the injury. So, you could probably get him in the freaking 4th, 5th, 6th round. 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th. Sit behind Aaron Rodgers for a year. 2, 3... Sit behind Aaron Rodgers for a year or two? Would love that. Would love that. I think he'd be great fit there. Great fit. I'm a big Jordan Travis fan. I see uh, I see y'all in the chat. H D D N D A D D D. I see you. <laughs> Trey Lance just got traded to the Steelers, yeah? <laughs> Freaking yo. Listen, listen. I'll I'll if you st if you stop saying oil up, I'll oil up my guy. Oz on Vikings getting JD or May. I just came from TikTok. You came? What are you saying? No diddy, brother. No diddy. What are you saying? What do you want about? Free Trey Lance. Free Trey Lance, ladies and gentlemen. Free Trey Lance. Free Trey Lance. Oh my god. Let's let's look at this real quick. I just bought Okay, let me give y'all I'll give y'all a freaking I'll give you all a little spoiler. So the, I, I did buy one of the Dolphins jerseys that I bought. I bought a couple Dolphins jerseys last night. One of the ones I bought was Ricky Williams because Ricky Williams is my favorite. Like if anybody asked me, I know he had like his problems and shit, got suspended, you know, fucking smoking weed. Like it was stupid, stupid shit. But Ricky Williams is probably my favorite player to ever play football, ever. I love Ricky Williams. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Like it's just, it's just a thing, bro. I've, I've like watched him my entire, my, my entire childhood. You know, Ricky Williams and Ronnie Brown, the Wildcat formation for the Dolphins. Like, I love Ricky Williams. That's my one of my favorite players, if not my favorite player to ever play football. And so I have been looking, I have been looking forever, forever. I have been looking for an orange, old school, like, like the old Dolphins. Oh wait, not that logo. Oh, well, sure. You know, the old Dolphins logo, the old orange Dolphins jerseys, and I've been looking for an old Ricky Williams one for so, so, so long. And last night, I finally found somebody who was, like, selling one at, like, a good price, and I was like, screw it. I'm buying it. I'm buying it. I've wanted this jersey my entire life. I got, like, a couple dollars in my bank account. I'm buying it. And that's what I did. So I got myself a Ricky Williams jersey that I'm going to be. That's going to be my... That's going to be my thing. That's going to be my thing. I'm, I'm going to start collecting Ricky Williams jerseys. I'm going to get all of them. White, blue. There's like a cool navy blue one that's old and cool. I got to find.
But yeah, Ricky Williams. We love Ricky Williams. Let us keep going here. Oh, this is funny, bro. This is this is so out of pocket. The ugliest players in the 2024 NFL Draft. And at number one, they got Spencer Rattler. Because, dude, not going to lie, brother. Look at him, dude. He kind of got like, he got like shark in his blood or something. <laughs> Spencer Rattler is a little goofy looking. But look, where's Tyler? Which one of these guys is Tyler? I'm guessing this is Tyler Guyton. Live age restricted. Oh my God! It's because I saw. It's because I said. It's because I was talking about Ricky Williams. My live, my live on TikTok got age restricted because I was talking about Ricky Williams. That's so crazy. That is crazy. That is insane, bro. That's messed up. That's messed up. Ricky didn't do nothing wrong. Ricky did nothing wrong. Ricky did nothing wrong. TikTok, they did. He did nothing wrong. Okay, but uh, I think we're running out of news here, ladies and gentlemen. Brandon Ayuk told people close to him that he does not want to be traded, but just wants to get paid. But I think he's going to get both. I think he's going to get traded and get paid, so I hope he doesn't mind that. I hope that, I hope that works for him. And yeah, now we're into yesterday's news, three days till the NFL draft. Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the news we got for today. That's all the news we got. That's that's about everything. Uh, you know, if you're watching on TikTok, listen, go over to Twitch at Tico Fantasy Show, follow, get your name on this board behind me. I'm gonna start writing those names right now. And uh, I'm ending the uh, live. So go over there. I'm gonna be on Twitch. Peace out, people on TikTok. Have a wonderful day. What's up, my Twitch people? What's up? Let's see what people in the chat are saying. Let me read the chat for a second. Uh the Bills are not getting Xavier Worthy and Keon, but I'd like to see him get one of the two. I think Keon, like, I think they could stay at their pick. I think they could stay at their pick and take and take Keon. And I think that'd be good. I'd like to see him take Keon. I'd like that. Oh, I got a whole fit picked out for the draft already, brother. I got a whole fit. I got a whole fit. It's going to be, it's an event, my brother. It's an event. It's going to be a thing. But let me pull these names up. Let me pull these names up. Let me uh, get my phone. Give me a minute. You don't want Keon? Why not? Why don't you want Keon, my brother? I love Keon. Keon's dirty. Okay, let me pull y'all's names up. 1.6 today, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, we're on the road. We're on the road. We're doing like 100 followers a week. 100 followers a week. We're freaking... We're on the road to a million. On the road to a million. It's going to take me three lifetimes to get there, but what did I do with the blue marker? Where did I put the blue marker? Wait, I got to find the blue marker. One minute. I got to find the blue marker. Here, let me take this with me. Wait, I'm going to take this to the other side of the room. I think I left the blue marker. Where's the blue marker, bruh? I don't want to start writing it in a different color. It's not good. Oh, I found it. It's right here. Blue marker acquired. Okay, let me write some names. So if you're not following, follow, because I'm going to start writing these names right now. And I do not want to forget your name. Oh, let me put this on my chain. Give me a minute. Yo, I'm going to buy a, I'm gonna buy a, I'm gonna buy a chain. I should buy a Tico Fantasy Show chain. That'd be sick. Uh, let's see. Where do we start? Where do we start? Where do we start? Okay. Okay. Cloudy X Cloud. Look at us, bro. We're freaking getting to the bottom of the board here. Cloudy X Cloud. Hey, it's Carter. MK09 me. Context Cole. George Man. The Matt G. I might be ghostly. Five star. Cool cat pro programmery.
Dom is betterly? What is up with all these Lees? Crazy dude? Uh, sponge killer. Jimmy Allen. I'd love to get the 2,000 followers during the uh, draft. That'd be pretty sick. Yair Cruz. Brody MT. Darth Rogue. Juanito. Logan09. Koru Man. Hyper's Death. Um, Mafia Z, Zab's awesome. W Zab's awesome. You were the sixteen hundredth follower, and you subbed. W W person, plushy toaster, Nathan Coach co co Cotched, something like that. Sorry, Spartan America. Uh, Exo Solu, EX Solu, X2 Jumpman, Leyland World, Brazy Loves, Love Spain, Braxy Loves Spain, something Loves Spain, I don't know, something like that, Jatafi. That's Sprite. Red Reed Dingle. Titans Target. Uh, sign here, please. Moldy Bread. DTGJB The Sexy Llama Momo and O'Reilly Nice If you followed if you followed you were on the board And uh yeah that is uh, all we got for today. Thank you very much for watching. We're going to be back tomorrow. Mock draft tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be hype. The final mock draft before the actual draft. Mock draft, 4.30. Be there. I'm going to have like all my rumors and shit ready to go. Like I'm going to be so prepared for that mock draft. I'm going to be so prepared. And uh, yeah, so be there for that. And then Thursday, we got the actual draft. 8 p.m., we're here. Whole entire first round. And then Friday... 7 p.m. We're here for the entire second and third. Saturday, 12 in the afternoon, all the four, five, six, seven. We're here for the entire thing. So be there for it. We're going to be doing it. We're going to be doing the John. We're going to be doing the thing. We're going to be doing that shit. And uh, yeah, before you go, I want you to know you should have a wonderful rest of your day and uh, you should watch this real quick. Have a nice day.